It's Thursday. That means it's time for the Good Life List with Mia Fleming. Yeah, Mia, good to see you. You're going to give us a test before this week's adventure. What yes. are we going to do here? Yes. Okay, so this week's adventure was all about spreading love. I love that face already. <laughs> with a llama. So I learned so much about these cute little animals. I wanted to see what you all know. Okay. And I know you might have a little edge in okay. this one. Okay. All right. So what we've got. So you've got your paddles, okay. A or B. Okay, so the first question, and I brought the bell so you can ring the bell. Oh. And then make Did your you answer. answer? Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. So n question number one, one of the ways llamas communicate is by humming. <laughs> is it A, true or B, false? Leanne flying uh, off. Oh my screen. gosh, you, they so cheated. They looked at you. Like well, Leanne's over here flying off right, the top right. okay. just coming okay. boom. She hit right. the button anyway. before the question right. was over. Yeah. What are we going to do? I, I, she knew it. She knew it. Question number two. Llamas only have teeth on the bottom and the front. Okay. Is that A, true or B, false? Oh. Dave, I'm afraid you're... Wrong. They're no. like, oh, like, man, <laughs> like I just no. wanted to beat you <laughs> to the bell was my okay. goal. Okay, gotcha. and so now for the bonus question. <clears throat> Do llamas love lemonade? Yes. I've okay. read too many children's Honestly, books. Honestly, I said a bonus question, but it's kind of a trick question. I don't know, but the llama I was with <laughs> actually <laughs> did love lemonade. <laughs> we watered it down a bit so he wouldn't get too much sugar, but it was just one of the things on this week's Amazing Adventure. You all take a look. <laughs> It's one of my favorite quotes and one I try to live by. It's actually how all of this came about. I'm walking a llama. I'm walking a llama. <laughs> Is that yummy? Is that yummy? The moment I spotted this cutie on social media, I gave myself the dare to spread some love. A little llama love. Fast forward a few short days later and I officially met Goose. He's a therapy llama. I've been training llamas and alpacas for a while. But this is the first one. He's the first one that's been, been this good to be able to do this stuff with, yeah. Wow. I think Katie here has one of the best jobs ever. But I had to know, why a therapy llama? Well, they're just neat animals. They're unique and it's something different. I mean, you bring them out here and it attracts so much attention. She says the best part of it all? The reactions people get. It's really cool. It's cool. <laughs> just make people, genuinely make people's day. Good life lesson number one. Finding a way to make someone else's day just might make your own. You think that you've seen it all. Man, this is something awesome. Thank you so you much. You had the llama today. Yes, I did. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? I love it. Are you getting the love today? Yeah. The love. All right, we're off to spread more love. Thank you, Chris. How are you? That positivity right there. See, it touches you in the heart. It does. You're so soft. Mm -hmm. We are spreading llama love, baby. You need some llama love today? I kind of want to You kind of want to? Go in. Go in there. She's loving from afar. Yes. There it is. Yes. From a distance. Okay. Watching from a distance was this awesome goose admirer who wanted to share some love. Oh, you want to come here, some lemonade or some ice? After a little break, we were back at it. We got another shy one. Ooh, <laughs> oh, he's super sweet. How sweet. Oh. Good life lesson number two. Breaking out of your comfort zone just might lead to that feel good moment you didn't even know you needed. This is cool. I would have never done this if it wasn't this opportunity. Thank y'all. Bye. As many were out here during a lunch break, they were still making time to get a little llama love. I said, I, what is that over there? I need to come over here right now. <laughs> I was reminded it's okay to take a little me time. The final good life lesson today and living the good life. Oh, good, thank you. This made my day. That is awesome. Oh, man. The best ever. Walk around downtown Tulsa with a llama. For sure. <laughs> Spreading I, love. I got to ask you, though, have you ever had a llama spit on you? Uh -oh. I have not. Okay. Thank goodness. So years ago, there were there were a lot of national stories about llamas on the loose. Right. And so when I went to the Tulsa Zoo, I got I got up in the llama's face to get the, you know, I was getting the scoop. Yeah. yeah. He gave it right back he to gave me. It right. Take a look. Yeah.
There he oh is. I'm gosh. feeding him, enjoying oh. that. And then all the, I'm like, what is it? Llama, what's oh. your problem? Oh, yeah. no way! If I would have seen this video, I would have known oh, the tooth answer. No. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Look at those well, big holes. I think we got slow mo. Oh, it's a, my it's gosh, Lee. Yeah. In no way! <laughs> He had well, some cannon fodder and, in there. And honestly, oh, I knew what I was doing. You so, did. So, yeah, I was irritating him. So, oh, I'm not allowed to go in the llama area anymore. So, anyway, thanks, Mia. And, of course, Thank you. you can oh always gosh, find the latest the Good Life list with Mia Fleming segments on our website at newson6.com. We'll see you next week. All right. See you guys next week. All right. We're going to take a break. we got more 6 in the morning right after this.